This world goes around in a cycle while we are all participants while riding this cycle. On this ride, we see some amazing things, some good and some bad. Come with me as we explore the Bee Cyclopedia where I look at the spokes who made those bee movies. John George Agar Jr also known to many of us as John Agar. He was an American film and television actor. He's best known for starring alongside John Wayne in the film Sands of Iwo Jima, Fort Apache, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. In his later career, he was a star of B-movies such as Tarantula, The Mo People, The Brain from the Planet Auroras, Revenge of the Creature, Flesh in the Spur, and Hand of Death. He was the first husband of Shirley Temple. Agar's career suffered in the wake of his divorce, but he developed a niche playing leading men in low-budget science fiction, western, and horror movies in the 50s and the 60s. John Wayne gave him several supporting roles in the late 60s and early 70s. In later years, he worked extensively in television. Agar was born in Chicago, Illinois, the son of Lillian and John George Agar Sr., a meatpacker. He was educated at the Harvard School for Boys in Chicago and Lake Forest Academy in Lake Forest, Illinois. He graduated from Trinity Pauling Preparatory School in Pauling, New York, but did not attend college. He and his family moved from Chicago to Los Angeles in 1942 after his father's death. During World War II, Agar joined the Naval Air Corps and basically trained in Texas and instructed in physical training at Marchfields in Riverside, California. He later transferred to the United States Air Corps. He was a sergeant at the time he left AAF in 1946. After his marriage with Shirley Temple, her boss at the time, David O. Selznick, signed Agar to a five-year acting contract starting at $150 a week, including acting lessons. Agar made his film debut as Temple's love interest in Fort Apache, a John Ford Western for RKO, starring John Wayne and Henry Fonda. It was a financial and critical success. Agar was reunited with Temple for a second film, a suffragette drama adventure in Baltimore. RKO used him, The Woman on Pier 13, an anti-communist drama that was a pet project of Howard Hughes. It was Agar's first movie without Temple. It was billed after Ryan, Robert Ryan and Lorraine Day. It was another flop. More successful was a reunion with Wayne and Ford. She wore a yellow ribbon in which Agar played the romantic lead. Even more popular was the World War II film Sands of Iwo Jima, where Agar supported John Wayne, made by Republic Pictures. It was a sizable hit, earning Wayne an Oscar, a nomination, and Agar some good reviews. In 1954, Agar signed a seven-year contract with Universal. He began the association with Revenge of the Creature, the popular first sequel to Creature from the Black Lagoon. It was produced by William Allen and directed Art Jack Arnold. And it also started young Clint Eastwood. He was borrowed by Lippet Pictures for The Lonesome Trail. Then at Universal, made a second film for Hayes with Cleo Moore, Hold Back Tomorrow. Agar made another science fiction film, Tarantula, made by Alan and Arnold, which was a popular and became a cult favorite. Universal starred him in a western star in the dust, produced by Albert Zugsmith, a new company. American International Pictures borrowed Agar for western, Flesh in the Spur, and then he went back to Universal for The Mo People, produced by Alan. Agar supported Audie Murphy in a comedy, Joe Butterfly, then his contract with Universal ended. Agar remained in demand for low-budget science fiction, horror, and western films. He starred in The Daughter of Dr. Jekyll, Edgar G. Ulmer at Allied Artists, then made The Brain from Planet Auroras for Halco International. Agar starred in some low-budget western films for Fox, Ride of Violent Mal, Frontier Gun. He went to the Philippines to make Cavalry Command and did two for AIP, Jet Attack, and Attack of the Puppet People. Agar did Invisible Invaders for director Edward L. Kahn, who made Jet Attack. Agar could be seen in Journey to the Seventh Planet, Young and the Brave, A Love of Desire, Law of the Lawless, Stage to the Thunder Rock, 
Young Fury, Johnny Reno, Women of the Prehistoric Planet, and Waco. Agar made some films for Larry Buchanan at AIP, including A Curse of the Swamp Creature, Zontar the Thing from Venus, and Hell Raiders. He had led in the Night Fright. Agar had small parts in some studio films like St. Valentine's Day Massacre and Three with John Wayne, The Undefeated Chisholm and Big Jake. Agar's last prominent roles were in King Kong in 1976 and Miracle Mile in 1988. Agar died on April 7, 2002 in Burbank, California from complications from emphysema. He was 81. He was buried beside his wife at Riverside National Cemetery in Riverside, California. He was survived by his three children, four grandchildren, and two brothers. As for being associated with science fiction B-movies, Agar said, I don't resent being identified with B-science fiction movies at all. Agar later said, why should I? Even though they were not considered top of the line for those people that like science fiction, I guess they were fun. My whole feeling about working as an actor is if I give anybody any enjoyment, I'm doing my job and that's what counts. The Seattle band The Young Fresh Fellows recorded a song called The New John Agar on the Topsy Turvy album in 1985. The television series Mr. Science Theater 3000 has made fun of a lot of Agar's films, including The Mo People, Women of the Prehistoric Planet, and Revenge of the Creature. John Agar was where I found him was through Mystery Science Theater. And of course, after that, I became more wanting to know more about the man. And I respect him, even though he has not really had a huge hit. He has become a kind of staple for those films and I don't think there would be uh, anything going on towards uh, Alamo Draft House or any of these places cult films if it wasn't for people like John Agar heck there might not been Rocky Horror Picture Show so there you go folks you guys have a great day and keep on the B Cyclopedia as we explore more spokes in this crazy world who's your daddy Thank you.